I got a question a while back of whether you should cut the yellow roots because a lot of people say, well, cut the brown mushy roots and leave the green ones alone. But what about the yellow roots? Hi, I'm Amanda Matthews and thank you for watching this video at Orchidary. If it's your first time repotting, it can be extremely daunting to actually know what roots to cut and what roots not to cut. For the yellow roots inside your pot, you can have three choices. You can either nurture them to turn them into green roots. You can either ignore them or you can cut them off. Now there is a good reason for each one of these. So you already know that repotting an orchid, you need to keep the green roots and cut off the mushy brown ones. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to try to do this while I talk. <laughs> so this orchid has been with me. Oh my gosh. Um, this orchid has Okay, now this is what comes out of usually a, an orchid. Some of these roots are in terrible shape. Some of these are not so good. Take this off. So what we have here is an orchid with some good roots, some terrible roots, and some, and then we have this. This is what we call a pug. Now, okay, <laughs> when this orchid was a seedling, they filled this with pure sphagnum moss, or in this case, peat moss. And it was very tight. And they put this little seedling inside this basket so it could grow. Now, peat moss, I do not recommend it. Do not buy it unless you're building a terrarium, an orchid terrarium. Then it's worth it. But peat moss holds a lot of humidity so as a seedling it's perfect for that or sometimes it can be pure sphagnum moss which is harder to see usually it's the peat moss this you need to take out because it's been with the orchid ever since its beginning size and everything in this peat moss is just old and decayed and needs to get out of there as soon as possible so now you're left with an orchid that looks like this so here you have nice green roots. Then you have yellow roots. What do you do with these yellow roots? And then you have these brown papery roots that are, they look like that is just dead. So in each of these cases, we need to look at what we need to do with these roots. Now the green roots you leave. If they're firm, you squeeze them. They show resistance. They'll, they'll not squish between your fingers. That's the perfect root to keep. The yellow roots. Now, why do roots turn yellow? That's just because they're on the inside. You notice the majority of the yellow roots are on the inside of your organ. That just means they haven't gotten chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll is what gives them this green, nice green color. And if they have no sunlight coming in, the orchid saying, why do I need to send chlorophyll there? It's not going to serve a purpose. So it just doesn't. Once these orchid roots move to the outside of the pot where they can get light, they will turn green again. The, chlor the orchid will move, start to produce chlorophyll in these yellow roots. Now the roots you need to cut off are of course these brown papery ones. See, there's no resistance here whatsoever. It's just crunchy and brown. In this case, this orchid has more crunchy brown roots on the top. So that just means it's been dehydrated. If I had put a layer of sphagnum moss on top here, I could have kept these roots safer from, from drying out. Now there are two colors of yellow because actually there's a lot more, <laughs> but to keep it simple, there's two colors of yellow. So know your yellows. There is a yellow that is like this color that's almost like an anemic color. It's like a pale washed out green. If you just filtered, if you took a filter and took out all the green, that would be what's left of this is yes. Parmesan cheese, sugar cookie, pancakes, and castle, or an eggnog color. So these are healthy because they're still firm. Now, if the yellow, that, color yellow here. When I press that, it's not firm to the touch. It's almost like it's hollow inside and I can squeeze down and it's empty. 
Now this yellow color here is more of a an apricot cider bronze brown yellow and this yeah see this whole root here that yellow see I can I can feel my finger on the other side of the root so that I cut off so those are the two yellows even though this little green part here is still green this is enough decaying inside the pot that I don't want it for another two years in there because that's not going to do anything it's not going to grow back it's not going to get healthy again this is just dead vellum and that's covering the steel so those are your two types of yellow now there is a heated debate about whether or not if you take this vellum off like this part right here and i'll just take it off there this is the vellum it's the covering of the actual root which is called the steel some people will say if you take off the vellum and the steel's not going to do anything for the orchid because the vellum is what absorbs it increases that area that it can absorb the nutrients and water and without that vellum and the steel does nothing there are other people who actually say that yes you can take off the vellum and leave the steel it will still hydrate the steel is alive even though the vellum is dead when i take off the vellum and i actually leave the steel on because the steel is not going anywhere and it's so small that any absorption that it can get to my orchid i actually prefer that so i leave it but knowing that it's not going to perform its full duties in absorption i will have to keep it keep a close eye on it oh my gosh what happened to you here kitty so those are the different roots and what you should cut what you should keep if your roots are covered in bacteria and you did your best if there if there's more brown in your roots than green you can give this a soak in physan 20 or another bacteria side i wouldn't recommend hydrogen peroxide and you can see why in this video here but hydro physan 20 or any other bacteria side to get this orchid cleanse a little bit of the bacteria off the orchid roots so now that you know which roots to cut which roots to keep and which yellow needs nurturing ignored or cut off if you like this video please tell me um if you didn't like this video please tell me <laughs> i'm serious because i have no way of knowing if these videos are actually helping or if they're not um so just leave a comment and say yeah i thought um you answer this question but you totally skipped this question or you did a good job here and you didn't do a good job there that help gives me some feedback of how i can make better videos for you so keep on squeezing those roots and see which ones to keep which ones to ignore like here is another yellow that i will definitely cut off so with that i hope to see you in the comments below and Happy cultivating.